Hello and welcome. My name's Scott, and we're back on a new adventure here on Minecraft Vanilla 1.18. Hey, we're on a FUBAR server uh, with all our good friends T Fox, Krillic, Rue, Old Man, Cropter, Garlic. Everybody's on here, and so it's a great time. Now, why would you want to watch us? Well, because we're all a bunch of modded people trying to play vanilla. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We've all been waiting for this for the longest time. And we're super excited. But as we get started, we see here that we got somebody that's already got a shop up. And uh, I'm thinking that as we do this, we got a bunch of modded players that are going to play vanilla, right? So they're probably going to want a lot of things. So the very first thing we're going to do, we're not even going to build a house yet. We are going to go and build a slime farm. And after that, we're going to go explore the wild, wild west. And we're going to go camping and we're going to get on with this adventure. So let's get started here. But before we do that, we've got to do the typical Minecraft stuff. Punch leaves or punch logs, <laughs> chop down trees. And uh, yeah, we got to do that. It's a simple thing, right? And, and we got to do some crafting. So let's make ourselves our very first tool. We've got a crafting table. And we'll get ourselves here a very simple wooden pickaxe to get ourselves some cobblestone. So straight into cobblestone we go and we'll grab up a bunch of this so that we can get to making our new upgraded tools. So we'll make ourselves a stone pickaxe and make ourselves a stone axe and maybe a shovel. And I think we need a sword. Sounds great. All right, next food. There you are, baby. Aha. Oh, and we need the wool too. So we need a bed very first day and we'll Ah, perfect. Yeah, one more. I got you in the sights, baby. And done. So easy enough. Now we got enough for a bed. Day one, done. Okay. Food, we gotta cook. So there goes our furnace. And let's get to making some charcoal so that we can actually make this. And hey, look at this guy. More food and cook it. Ooh, even more food. I love the fact that we've got all these fish now. So uh yeah. Uh, we'll collect some more fish, we'll cook them up. All right, to get build our slime farm, we need a boat. And then a boat, away we go. All right, so I've identified a slime chunk out here. And in this chunk, I went ahead and, and, and hollowed it out. It's seven blocks tall, starting at uh, Y level 20. Uh, the design comes from Logic Geek Boys. You can see here, basic, real simple slabs, ladders, um, you know, a bunch of hoppers, some fire, a campfire. And everything here, you see, is, is exactly what we're needing. Nothing too over the top. Uh, really what we do is turn on the slime, uh, the, the chunk batteries here. We're going to go up four and we're going to place another platform up here to increase the spawning rate of it. And it'd be three wide. It's super easy. Uh, Logical Geek Boy does this one. Uh, super love it. Super awesome. And it's going to get us a lot of slime. So we make slime blocks. So we can sell the rest of the guys on the server here and make us some serious money. And so easy enough. It's not hard. Probably the biggest thing about it is, is uh, getting down here and doing this all with, uh, with stone tools yeah because i've not upgraded yet to anything better uh but it's it's really not a big thing um as you can see all right next we got to put an iron golem in here so in the middle of this thing uh, we're going to put down a couple trap doors so he can stand on like here here and here and then we're going to place a couple up top here and one more here and now we're going to build our iron golem here and then we're going to push him into it and then we'll close up the area not too horribly bad uh, but pretty simple it took a little bit of iron but all the iron i got actually while uh, while we moved out this whole area. So get him in there and boom, done, there we go. All right, uh, next uh, we need to set up the collection system. So in here, we're gonna run three double chests as we run this thing in through here. Pretty simple, uh, not too horribly tough to do, except for I can't seem to place blocks and I can't seem to hollow out enough area. You know, I don't get it, I really don't, but that's okay, because <laughs> it's gonna get done, I promise. It really will. So there we go. All right. And and next, uh, we want to do, put a little stair here so we can, it'll kind of keep all of the slimes in there. And now we'll just close it back up and start adding hoppers. Doop, doop, doop. All right. And yeah. And that sucks. And now I got to break more stuff. <laughs> I can't, I can't win. I really can't. All right. All right. And simple enough here. And we'll just place hoppers along the bottom here. Maybe the collection system, all of these slimes and this slime chunk will jump into the, and what we're about to do is set up fire here too. These campfires, which will actually kill the mobs, uh, the spawn, or the uh, the slimes, right? And so campfires, simple, boom, 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 yeah. And then, uh, then basically we're done. It's pretty simple after that. And then it's just time to AFK. Uh, but we've got AFK and we'll build, we'll build um, whatchamacallit, 
We'll build a spawning platform up above this. So let's clean ourselves up here and we'll get ready to go up. All right, now comes the fun. And so now, so we built that at Y level 20, right? Now we're gonna pillar ourselves up to Y level 46. Um, or 146, all right? So 146, we'll get up there and we'll create our spawning platform up there and we will actually build up. No, we don't have a house yet, T-Fox. <laughs> we don't. We're building our slime farm first. That's how important it is to us. So, <laughs> all right. And then this is just our spawning platform. Uh, I'm going to make it out of glass because no mobs will spawn on glass, so I don't have to do a, a bunch of extra lighting up here. Uh, but yeah, and we'll get it built out here, and then we'll put a cover on the top of it here. Yeah, pretty simple cover. Again, slabs on the bottom side so no mobs spawn up top there. Uh, the idea here is to protect us from anything that comes at night. And let's jump off here. And then the fun part of laddering all the way back up. So. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll just ladder all the way back up here, and that is basically it. It is ready to go, uh, and then we'll just AFK here for a while and get ourselves some slime, which will ultimately sell. And so then we need to get ready to go back to spawn, and we're going to build ourselves a small uh, small shop. But what's it actually look like? In just the time it was to go up the top, <laughs> I got 40 slime balls there. And I got six. So 46 slime balls in the time that it took to build uh, that platform going up. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I love it. All right, back at spawn now. Now, this is where we're going to build us. Uh, I think this we're doing a little shopping district here. I don't know. Uh, this, this is the way we can all exchange goods and wares here um, at the spawn. And so uh, I need to find a spot. And we're going to be, uh, ouch, that hurt. We're going to have to help set a precedence here because where we build, everybody else is going to build too, because we got acrylic over there with his barrels, <laughs> which is cool, or storage crates, either one. Uh, but I think this looks like a good spot. And, and ours isn't going to be very big. It's going to be just like a little overhead shelter with like a little bit. So we'll have, we'll, we'll put this cobblestone down here and, and we're going to build up uh, from here. So this is, this is about the size it's going to be uh, as we continue through. A little spruce in there. That's yeah, coming along. So we got a little brick. We got a little birch. We got a little insonite. And it rains on the server all the time. And there we go. Uh, I think it's starting to take shape. Uh, I got a little slime block, a little moss block. There's two of the things we're going to sell from the very beginning. I found some moss early, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I really like the way it looks. It's just pretty simple, but it's just here and it's right outside of spawn. So everybody will be able to get there pretty easily and right outside the nether portal. And so let's go ahead and kind of clean this up just a bit because we're going to want to light this up a bit. Uh, and a couple sla half slabs there. And let's look at making some lanterns. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... Uh, yeah, I, I need... Oh, yeah, I need some torches. Let's need another torch. Oh, I, and iron nuggets. All right. And here we go. Make some lanterns. And one. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just made four. Oops. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. So, all right. Hey, two lanterns. And, and I think we'll just place them kind of right here. Yep. Perfect. I think that looks good. I really am liking the way. This isn't anything special. Uh, but for a day one, like, starter shop to start making some, some, some moolah here on the server, I think that's awesome. And all we did was a, a very, very simple slime farm that took us about an hour, hour and a half to do. Okay, uh, now we're gonna mark the thing. So let's make some signs, and that's not gonna work there. No, no, no. Um, yeah, how about right here? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, uh, Scott's, uh, Scott's shop of green shop. Scott's things of uh, green things, green stuff. Scott's things of green. Scott's <laughs> things of green things of green shop yeah <laughs> awesome I'll put another one right over here <laughs> maybe I'll figure this out faster Scott's thing of green <laughs> come on I can type no no capitalize it's gonna look the same come on green shop things of green shop simple easy there we go all right with a way to make money and the server it's time to go find us a spot to live and our two buddies i got I two friends here uh they'll beat us up there in a second we'll say pick up our boat here 
Uh, come on, stupid. Let's go. There we go. Thank you. And all hey, right. Hey, we got our two friends here. Hey, guys. Good to see y'all. And so, yeah, let's adventure out here. So we're north of spawn here. Uh, we'll put the seed in the description of what we're playing at, and I'll, I'll put the cords here. Uh, but yeah. And so as we maneuver, as we kind of explore this area, I see this big pink pillar thing and our buddy t fox is he has no way i always like to live to get live close to each other so we can mess with each other it's a lot of fun but he's already been out here and explored this and we kind of explored it too a little bit but uh he's already kind of marked a spot for us uh so that uh we knew where we were wanting to go and <laughs> i don't know what to say <laughs> i don't know what to say a huge pillar of pink concrete <laughs> thank goodness it's still the concrete dust <laughs> so he's left us here some stuff uh, with a campfire. I appreciate him marking it for us, you know? It's nice of him. Uh, but, oh, this is nice. I appreciate that. So, uh, a little starter pack as we get ready to go here. But I think we got to remove this thing. I, I'm kind of curious. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, holy smokes. Holy cow, look at this thing. How far does this go? Can I see? Like, ready? Uh, come on, let's let's zoom in. Uh, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's still going. It's zooming in. <laughs> oh my gosh, there we go. Oh, concrete. Oh my goodness. Guesses on how much that is? I'm going to guess four stacks. And no. How about just over two and a half stacks? Not too shabby. Nice job, D Fox. Appreciate you doing that. That's a lot of work, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. That is a lot of work to make that much concrete. So we'll I'm sure we'll find some way to use it. Uh, but hey, I think we want to set up up there, kind of in that saddle, right through there. Yeah. So we're gonna go up there, and then we're gonna set up this is where we're gonna be our base. All right, it's time to get serious here. Shaders are on. We're in our new base. This or not our new base, but this is where we're gonna we're gonna stay at. So, as as you progress into the wild, you've always got to do something. And first things first, you got to set up a small area, right? And the wild, the, the people that settled the West, the American West, they didn't have buildings the very first day. They came out in their covered wagons and tents. And so I think that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna build ourselves a little tent and that will get us started. So for our tent, I'm thinking some wool because I got a lot of it and let's do some oak fencing. And, and it, 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 you know, and why not, right? So let's go here and, and not there. Why do I always do this? You guys, if you've watched me long enough, you know that we can't place blocks to save our life. We really can't, we're not very good at it. And so, okay, the wool, no, I wanna go up top there. Come on, how about we go there? Thank you, and there, all right. So, very simple little tent. Uh, it's probably not the best protection against all the mobs at night, but you know what, when it rains, it's gonna keep us out of the, it'll keep us out. So, yeah, I think we need to go up another level. Uh, let's see here, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, I, I'm liking this. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think we're gonna have to go up another level. Yeah, it's just, it's not, yeah, I, there's something wrong with it, you know what I mean? And, and so I think we need to go up one more level and yeah. And so this inside piece, we'll, we'll clean this up, but you see how that, that needs to, that we need to go up. The middle block needs to go up one block more. I think that'll be a big help. So let's, let's raise that. And I don't have enough fences again for this. Our luck with crafting and getting all the right materials has not been the best. It never is for some reason, but we do have all the materials to do it. So, all right, there we go. And now let's throw this last one up here on top. And we should be able to, come on, there, there, and there, and uh, not there. Okay. There we go. All right. And as this night starts to close out, as we're here in our new area, we'll throw our bed down so that we've got a spot and we'll pick up our crafting table, crafting bench. We'll put it inside here. And that I think, ladies and gentlemen, is, is pretty good for day one. Like that's a little tent in the wild west that we're about to do. Right. And so I'm excited here. There's a couple of things we still need to do. I want to clear a little bit of this area right over here. Cause I got an idea that we want to do here. Um, but we also, the other thing you need is a fire. So a campfire is needed when you, when you're out camping and in the wild, wild west. 
<laughs> so here we go. One set campfire. And let's lay that right there. Perfect. All right. And let's get some sleep. And as fresh, fresh, fresh as we feel this morning, it's time to get going with some materials. So let's grab some materials for our build. Now, the build idea that we're going to have is going to be a is a stockade out or wilderness fort. OK, so with that, we need to get uh, leaves. We need to get wood and more stone and everything else. So let's going to collect all that up here real quick. And then from there, we can come back. So now with all that collected, look how pretty this is. I love our view. Absolutely amazing, by the way. Amazing. I love it. I love it. Love it. But now, hey, so I built a small lean-to for us, small wooden lean-to, pretty simple, you know, just some slabs, smoke logs, and some fence, and put all our chests underneath here. And so this is basically all the materials we've got gathered up for our uh, for our build that we're going to do. All right. And we got a bunch of just different stuff. But one thing I do want to do here is our tent needs somewhere to cook. Right. So let's drop in a furnace and we'll use these brick walls for a chimney because you got to have a chimney to to vent it. Right. So we'll just do that and that. And now I feel like our tent's complete. <laughs> Look at that thing. And our dogs are happy, too. So we're excited here. OK, uh, we got some fish during our when we we're collecting stuff, stuff up. And the awesome thing is you can cook fish on the fireplace. Super awesome. And so. Uh, yeah, but, oh, <laughs> I forgot. Hey, our buddy uh, T-Fox came by. He's running a bee shop. And in this, <laughs> he's left us some good stuff. Look at these, some pretty candles. Look, it's very Christmassy-like, right? Some some pumpkin pie, some sweet berries. Look how, look how Christmassy this looks. <laughs> That's super cool. Hey, thanks, T-Fox, man. Appreciate it. That is awesome. That's super cool. <laughs> I love it. All right, and our fish is done. So we'll load it back up again, and we'll keep... We'll keep getting more and more fish, but all right up here, this saddle here uh, in between, you see the mountain to the left and the back to the right. And this saddle is where we're going to build our outdoor fort uh, or wilderness fort slash stockade. And it was really kind of mirrored off of this concept of Walt Disney World called Fort Langhorn. And so let's let's get to building.
All righty. So oh, I think we're done. Um, and we're back here. And uh, we've got our pups. And we've kind of, during the time, we kind of colored them. Love them. And I got two dogs at the house, so I really enjoy it. And we found ourselves a parrot and a skelly horse. So things are going really, really well for us. But this <laughs> is our wilderness fort slash stockade. And so, as you guys saw through the time lapse, we built this cliff in here, and uh, and then we've just really kind of, kind of taken it to I don't know I, I I absolutely really enjoyed the way this turned out, uh, and it, it's there's a little vegetation, it's a little overgrown, you know, and this is the insides. Look how tight, and nice, and and compact this is. It doesn't need to be big, right? Um, but that's what we want. Uh, over here, we've got a little stonework factory area. We can like do some work in the stones, little sweet berries, and over here is you know a little wood. Um, nothing, nothing over the top. We've got two buildings, one on the left and one on the right. We've got a horse stable with a horse I just found. Yeah, he's a beautiful horse too, and he's super fast. And over here, we've got little hay bales, a little a little stairway up to the second level to kind of run the, the, the in the in the cooking area. I love the way that this thing turned out. Over here is a little smithing area and grindstone. And this here is, I don't know what to do with this yet, but this is going to go down. So I'm going to do something with that. <laughs> Definitely going to do something with that. But I am loving the way that this turned out. And this, these little two little buildings here, perfect size, just a little bit of area in there and everything. And, and so, yeah, and this one, this one here, I've got my bed because I've been sleeping up here. But we need to move in and we need to do interior work. And we'll do that at some point in time. But up top here, um, as you can see up top, it's it's not, it's pretty pretty cool. And kind of some gang gangways and plank. And, and then this area up here, we really have an area that we can do a lot of work in up here. But I really don't know what we're going to do up here yet. But we'll do something. But uh, th I really, really like the way that this entire thing turned out. Now, it looks like we cleared a huge area. And we did. But it fits really well up here, right? Because it's in a saddle between these two kind of two hills or two mountains, if you want to call them. And, and it fits very, very nicely here. And the views are phenomenal. <laughs> I love 1.18. And, and the train generation. It is absolutely phenomenal. I, I still love it. It's so much fun here. Uh, but they just little staircases down. We'd use trap doors up there to kind of, you know, for uh, the top. We use trap doors out here. And, and then let's just take a look along the kind of front, kind of this cliff face here. Uh, really just kind of, you know, we've got stripped uh, spruce logs. We've got cobblestone walls, a couple trees that we built in here. So yeah, I, I I'm I'm loving it. I I I, I'm, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can you can't see me behind the microphone, but I'm giddy with joy as as, as how cool it is has turned out. I I absolutely love it. And for a very first time to to you know out here in the West, I think this is going to do a very very good job of protecting us. And so, <laughs> yeah. So with that, I want to say thank you all. I appreciate you stopping by. Let me know what you think of this. It was a ton of fun to build, and I hope to do something like this again very soon. I know we're in vanilla. I know that we're modded players, but stay tuned. We have a lot of fun things that are gonna happen on the server. And so with that, I bid you farewell. My name's C. Scott, and we'll talk to you all again very, very soon.